This video is sponsored by OWC. Apple last week seeded the latest beta of iOS 16. And while yes, this video is a little late, I do think there are a few things still worth mentioning about the latest beta for iOS 16. Apple announced AFib history at WWDC for those with atrial fibrillation. And now in beta three, we actually have the AFib section added to the health app. And the AFib feature is activated in watchOS 9 beta three. So for now, AFib history is only limited to those in the United States. The third beta also adds in the new iCloud shared photo library feature that was announced last month, and it is designed to make it easier for you to share photos with friends and family members. So with this feature, you can now invite up to five people to share a photo library with you, and all the participants can add, delete, and edit images. Now this next feature was actually added as an extreme security measure, which is called lockdown mode. And it's now available inside of iOS 16 and iPadOS 16, as well as Mac OS Ventura. It is an optional security feature that is aimed at protecting a small number of high profile users who are at risk of targeted cyber attacks from state sponsored spyware. Lockdown mode is aimed at journalists, activists, government employees, and others who might be targeted by these sophisticated cyber attacks. It is not for the everyday user and it restricts many iPhone features. So in messages, for example, attachments other than images are blocked. And in FaceTime, calls from people who you have not previously contacted are going to be blocked automatically. Beta 3 also adds some lock screen updates, like being able to choose from 12 fonts for the time, including one option that's thinner than some of the previously offered fonts, and then also a thicker version of the previously available serif font. The calendar widget on your lock screen will no longer display the next event detail while your phone is still locked for privacy concerns, so it'll just blur out those details until you unlock your phone. And with the Earth lock screen wallpaper, widgets will no longer block the view of the Earth. The Earth image moves down when the widgets are used and up if there are no widgets placed. In prior versions of the beta, widgets overlapped, which kind of didn't look good, and so it's great that Apple did fix that. Some iOS 16 users who installed the third beta are also seeing a clownfish wallpaper option. Now, this is significant because this is actually the wallpaper that was originally on the iPhone when it was introduced by Steve Jobs back in 2007, but it actually never officially launched. It's not showing up for everyone, but it could be added as a wallpaper option in the future. Luckily for me, I was able to see it on my device and include this beautiful screenshot of nostalgia for you all. For the Reminders app, there's a new Include Due Today option in Settings. It's designed to include both overdue and due today items in the batch count, rather than just due today items. And in a brief iPad update, there is a new splash screen for Stage Manager, alongside new tutorials for walking users through how to use it, and even an updated multitask menu with improved labeling. Now, before we end this video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC has tons of products for your Mac, like a wide variety of amazing external SSDs, like this OWC Envoy Pro Electron. This is actually OWC's fastest and toughest mini-sized USB-C bus-powered drive that the company offers, and it's incredibly fast. This drive touts incredible real-world performance due to it being powered by OWC's Aura SSD, offering users up to 1,011 megabytes per second. It's incredibly small and can fit in your pocket it easily, but it's also built like an absolute tank. Even though it boasts a lot of power, it's still super cool under the hood, thanks to that aircraft grade aluminum housing that really helps dissipate the heat. It comes in a few different configuration options, ranging from 240 gigs to two terabytes of storage. And so for more information about the Envoy Pro Electron or anything else that OWC has to offer, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.